not getting the kitchen of dreams with yet an attempt of a craft beer review. The one I'm going to review just now is one from the Brooklyn stable in America via my local Tesco's and it is their Brooklyn Defender IPA. 5.5 on the Richter scale for this bad boy. There you go, Brooklyn Brewery, lovely stuff. Brooklyn Lager, absolutely top drop. Their stout, their chocolate stout, good stuff as well. Uh, I saw this and I thought I'm going to have a go. I've got a few Brooklyn beers coming up and I thought I'd have a go at this one. So IPAs, anyone who watches my channel should know I ain't a fan. But I'll always give a beer a go. There is a couple of IPAs out there that I really, really do like. But uh, having said that, there's a lot of them there I really don't like. So anyway, let's go in for the Defender IPA from the Brooklyn Brewery. Get a nose, let's see what it's like. It's actually sitting quite nice in the glass. Nice big, thick head on it. It's quite pleasing to see. It's sort of like your carbonation going up there. If you can be asked, <laughs> looking at carbonation. I suppose if you're watching this video review, all you want to know is Hey Biggie, and how does it taste? How does it smell? So anyway, well, if you shut up, stop rambling and pay attention, I'll tell you. So anyway, let's go in for the nose. This smells quite nice actually. A little bit of tropical fruit. A little bit of pineapple. Faint G fruit, faint grapefruit. I ain't a fan, but uh, it is there. A bit of orange, a bit of orange rain or pith or whatever you want to call it. A little bit of caramel, that actually smells quite nice. So, anyway, so if you can jump drinking a Brooklyn Brewery Defender IPA 5.5 director scale, slangy bar. Wow. Well, the first thing that comes up to meet me on that, as soon as I put it in the taste buds, I hit the tongue. First thing I got was a pine needle attack, which I don't actually mind, followed by an assault from grapefruit. It's like a harsh tangerine. Now you get those easy peelers in the supermarket in the UK. The easy peelers are like tangerines, clementines, whatever you want to call them. And it's not the ones that are really good, it's the pure shitty ones that are always in special offer, that are really, really bitter. You get that sort of a salt in the mouth. Uh, it's quite harsh as I'm going on. It, it's not what I would... It smells nice and what I actually taste, to be honest. Uh, but I know a lot of guys who would really, really enjoy this. It's not bad beer, it's well put together. Yeah, the pine, pine attack. It's nice, it's bready. It's got a dry, bitter, bitter back end on it. It's actually, it's okay. 5.5 Erector scale. It suggests to me, because of the, the bold attack from pine and grapefruit in it, whereas a lot of beer tubers out there will just give you what, what they, they're take on it is a lot of guys out there love IPAs. Um a bit the jury's out for me. Uh, to me it tastes a lot stronger than 5.5 uh, because of the harshness on the buds. On the nose I've got the tropical thing. If there's pineapple on that it's struggling to find its way to the front of the queue. Maybe if I was to sit and sip on a second one, I'd maybe get a different... You know that way when you've had a beer, the first time you've got a bit of a salt on the taste buds. And then the second one tastes a little bit softer, everything's evening itself out. It's actually not bad. But is it one I'm a drink again? Mm, probably not. But it is well put together. Um, I think for the harshness of grassy notes and the grapefruit attack, is, uh, not the grassy notes, sorry, the, the pine needle attack, uh, which is a wee bit too harsh for me because uh, I'm not a fan of the style IPAs. Um, 
it is well put together. There is a lot of happenings in the can for the money you're paying. I think I paid about £1.80 for that in my local Tesco's. Brooklyn Brewery, I remember years ago when the craft beer scene hit the UK. If you could have got beers like that, you would have had to have went to your craft beer speciality shops. You probably would have paid about five quid a can for that. And we're not bull <coughs> we're not bullshitting. That's what you were going to pay for these kind of beers years ago. And you would have probably got them about a year out, nearly out, nearly when they were out of date. It's not one I would drink again, but there's a lot of people out there who would drink it. And I'm going to review it for what it is, not for what I actually think of the beer. Well, suppose, is what I think of the beer. It's not going to get a shitty mark. It is well put together for an IPA drinker. As I said, I'm not that drinker. I would give that a 7.5 out of 10. Yeah, Brooklyn Brewery, Brooklyn Brewery Defender IPA. 7.5 out of 10 from Sophie King Drunk. So anyway, if you've had it before, you liked it, usual, drop a line below. And if you stuck along at the end of the video, Sophie King Drunk salutes you and hopefully I will catch you in our craft beer review. So long as you keep drinking the good craft beers because there's loads of them out there. Ciao for now. Slangeeva.